Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while but life happens and I'm back and I wanted to start this new series or playlist about confidence and what is the best pace setter for a talk about confidence if not body shaming so that's why this first video on this series that i don't know what it's going to be called it's probably going to be called confidence and self-esteem because i am not that creative scratch that i'm actually very creative i'm just lazy sometimes continue watching so According to what I have here, body shaming is the action or practice of humiliating someone by making mocking or critical comments about their body shape or size, which is something that people do all the time, consciously or unconsciously. Some people are actually very voiced about it, so people don't know how to shut up, especially on social media comment sections, and that is actually what that's the center for what we're talking about. So the scope of body shaming is actually wide because it includes fat shaming, shaming people for their thinness, for their height, shaming people for their muscularity or lack of muscularity. It, it englobes like a lot of things and this all arises from the media's concept of having a perfect body which for women would be considered the hourglass shape and maybe for men, I don't know what, okay well perfect body for men maybe maybe being muscular you know and lean at the same time having abs and all of that and when you don't fit that social media norm of perfection then now other people now tend to start shaming you for looking like something that is not your fault most of the times people who body shame others don't look any better and actually with this i won't even blame only social media the media itself plays a big role even before the whole social media thing came the media itself has been playing a big role about body and positivity and body shaming okay if you want to check about well i don't know the percentage but then majority of evil characters in cartoons are fake. for example ursula from um, the, the the little mermaid queen of hearts from alice and the wonderland um that guy from Princess and the Frog, Princess and the Frog. I don't really know what it means, but I'll put the picture here so that you recognize. Most of those evil characters are fat, okay? And children see this. You as an adult, you may watch this and laugh it out loud, have a good time watching the movie, etc., etc., etc. But the kids who watch this, they say, "Oh my God!" All almost all the evil characters are always fat. That means that being fat, it's already a prerequisite for you being evil understand that is how children think and it's only when they will grow that they will be brought out of that mindset but then their subconscious is still there and you still be lowering their self-esteem anytime they gain one or two kilograms like you get what i mean right? so what am i trying to say here the thing i'm trying to say is to not judge anybody based on the looks they were born with because there are some people who are thin and they no matter the amount of food they eat they won't gain wait for the world there are some people who were born thick and that's okay the goal has never to be has was never to be to be skinny or to be whatsoever the goal was to be healthy no matter your weight okay if your weight is okay for your height and for your age then you are healthy you understand what i mean the goal has never to be to be looking like as long as you can climb a fleet of stairs without losing your breath then that's okay when you already start realizing that okay maybe you have gained five kilograms more than your normal weight it's okay for you to want to lose it it's okay for you to want to lose it as long as you're not obsessed by it you're not counting calories all the time you're not checking the scale all the time letting those numbers get into you understand what i mean it's okay to want to be to want to go to the gym even if it's ever not really every day because it has like a lot of stress but even if it's three times a week, it's okay for you to want to keep fit, keep healthy, okay? It makes you live longer. But don't let it get into your head, okay? Because people out there are mad. They are very mad. You don't know. People... <laughs> so, as conclusion, I'm just saying that, one, mind your business, okay? If somebody has gained weight or has lost weight, you don't need to walk up to that person and tell that person because, FYI, 
the person knows the person has a mirror the person has a scale the person has clothes he or she fits into so don't walk up to a person and say mama me you've got it so fat i know you don't need to tell me and two don't give unsolicited advice if somebody did not ask you for weight loss tips don't open your mouth and talk if somebody did not ask you for for weight gaining tips don't tell you if somebody did not oh oh my god you've lost so much weight um, i have this girl who sells waist trainers did I ask you? That's that's making that thing. The person might smile with you and be like, okay, give me her number. And so but when when the person goes home, she's he or she's like, I didn't even know I had gained this much weight for somebody to want to recommend bring celebrities to me. Is it that bad? You start making somebody's chance to starve themselves, you get into an unnecessary anorexia. What the fuck do you want? Keep quiet. Keep it low key. Okay, until I come and ask you. That I've gained um, this amount of weight. Do you know any gym exercises I can do? If you don't know, okay, Sava. If you know, give the one that you know and leave. You must not add the, the, the spice comment. Not unnecessary. Okay. Two, do not comment on other people's posts about their bodies, about what they wear, or about blah blah blah. Okay. That that one is a whole other video in this confidence series that I'm going to make. But then those are the two things you need to gain and that three hour uh, look you're beautiful okay it's okay like that if you want to lose a few kilos you lose them if you want to add an ad don't just let it get into your head okay you're okay the way you are all of us are going to die these bodies are temporary <laughs> so that's all i had to say i hope you guys like this video if you liked it smash the like button comment your favorite part of the video and other advice that you want to give anybody Share this video with your family and friends and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe. Scratch that. So I'm not... God.